Hey, everybody. Welcome to week number seven of CFQ at Home. I went back and counted this week, Dave. <laughs> no, I'm just doing the thing again. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Every, when we week the, every week with the dad jokes. Well, we've had a few technical <laughs> issues. We're a little late starting today, but uh, now we've got everything all sorted out. Yeah, very excited after uh, a couple technical issues to be uh, bringing on David James. Hey, David. Hello. I'm actually going by if you the bottom. I'm going by David N now. Oh, David N. Here, here about I already can do this. Then it actually says your name or we can go to David N. <laughs> yeah, apparently I don't know how to spell my own name or even the initials. So that's good. <laughs> and I'm like, this is when I do the thing where I look to see if the N button is near the, the J button. And it is. So it is. It can be your we'll new alias. Yeah, yeah, David N. David N. I like it. <laughs> Awesome. So um, let's just start with um, where are you during this pandemic? Where are you sort of hunkered down? I am uh, at home in Winnipeg, actually. I was supposed to be in Nashville right now, actually. Uh, I, I'm, I kind of every year I kind of a few months down there, but I was supposed to be kind of uh, fully moving down there this uh, this kind of late spring, early summer. So that's obviously been put on hold, but that's OK. I have a very well stock bar beside me as you can see so i've been okay i've i've been putting up with winnipeg but it's been not that bad now we have summer too so it's, it's not too terrible well when you have that much booze on the shelf there i think you can put up with any mosquitoes that winnipeg could throw at you exactly i will say there used to be a lot more booze it's it's, it's going down for sure but <laughs> I've, I've still got a little bit left so have you been um experimenting with cocktails or what have you been doing with all this liquor <laughs> yeah well i mean i so i bartended for you know about seven or eight years um when i was in university and uh actually paid for my first record bartending um so uh you know and and i did own necessity and, and it kind of turned into a bit of a hobby of mine you know it's fun to be creative and and make a lot of fun like classic drinks or come up with your own stuff. And it's a nice party thing to have, like when people come over and you can like make cocktails, you don't just have to reach for, you know, uh, cans of beer or whatever. So uh, I, I love it. I love doing it. And it's definitely kept, kept me busy, busy uh, during this quarantine for sure. Do you have a specialty drink? One that everyone asks you to make? Uh, my favorite cocktail is a whiskey sour. And once people try a good whiskey sour, it always becomes their favorite, even though it's got an egg white in it and people get a little weirded out at first and they've never had egg white in a drink, but, uh, but then they try it out and they're like, okay, this is the best thing ever. So I guess that's probably, it's, I don't know if that sounds pretty plain, but I really like a good whiskey sour. So have you been practicing any other skills while you've been at home during the pandemic besides making cocktails? Have you been cooking or baking bread, cutting hair? <laughs> I have actually, I actually, uh, funny enough, I, I did cut my brother's hair as a matter of fact, but, um, uh, that was, that was a little more recently, but, uh, I, yeah, I've been cooking a little bit. I've been doing a ton of songwriting. I've been trying to like pretty much write a song a day kind of thing and, and stuff, you know, just as a musician right now, I'm supposed to be out, um, uh, doing a bunch of radio stuff, playing some shows, um, getting across the country. So that's obviously not happening right now. So. Uh, just tried to, you know, keep uh, keep my musical itch satisfied in another way. So I've just been writing a lot and stuff. And I've actually been listening to a lot of old records I used to listen to that really got me into music. So like really old stuff by like the Rolling Stones and Marvin Gaye and Johnny Cash and the Eagles and stuff like that. So I've been kind of just like listening to those and playing along with my guitar, which has been kind of fun. It's it's you don't get a lot of time to do that uh, when you're traveling a lot. So it's been pretty fun, actually. So how are you uh, listening to that stuff? Is it digital or are you a vinyl fan? I love vinyl. My vinyl collection isn't huge though. So I, I probably got like, I don't know, maybe 25 or 30 records, but uh, I definitely love vinyl. There's nothing like making a nice cocktail, putting on some vinyl and just, just chill it out for the evening. That's like my favorite mm -hmm. thing. So you mentioned you were supposed to be out on the road down in Nashville because you just released a new EP and right in the middle of this pandemic. So that's got, what's that experience been like? 
Yeah, you know, it's not an amazingly uh, effective marketing strategy to release your album the day they declare a pandemic. But that's what happened. You know, it tends to monopolize the media's attention a little bit. But uh, no, it's been it's it's been great. Uh, fan response has been wonderful. You know, obviously, uh, I think people are really turning to music right now a lot and uh, able to listen a lot at home, which has been great. And we've gotten some really good response. You know, it's taken a little while for us to get the message out just because everything's been about COVID and, and rightfully so. So um, uh, it, it took a little bit of time to really get the message out there, but uh, people are responding and, and I feel very fortunate uh, that, you know, fans are always behind us artists and, and uh, really validates what we're doing. So it's, uh, it's always appreciated the amount of support. So your first single is If I Were You, so our latest, I should say. Uh, tell us a little bit about that song. How'd you come across it and, and a bit about it? Yeah, that song, it was like, it, it's so hard to describe. You know, we had been writing so, so, we wrote so many songs and we had pretty much finished the EP. You know, we'd finished the song selection, we recorded most of it. And then a producer friend of mine from uh, down in the States sent me a song and he's like, hey, I uh, just wrote this song. It's not going to go on the artist record. And I just want you to check it out. I think I think you'd be perfect for it. And kind of gave it a listen. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is just totally, I was, you know, I was meant to sing this song. So I forwarded it to my manager, Mike, and, and my producer, Dan. And, and everybody's just, you know, really over the moon about it. So we pretty much go into the studio a few days after that and uh cut the new song change the title of the record and stuff and it wasn't until you know we actually were like working on the song and finishing it up that i found out the other writers on it were you know florida georgia line and uh, and hardy so uh, i thought that that was pretty cool that a couple of really talented artists you know uh wrote a phenomenal song that they felt pretty strongly about and uh entrusted me with the message of delivering that song you know it's uh it was, it's pretty cool for sure yeah, so uh, If I Were You is uh, the name of the EP, the name of the song. So um, would you be willing to perform it for us right now? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. Of course I will. I have happen to have my guitar right here. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hope. I hope the sound quality on here is okay. It's on my phone, so we're having some technical difficulties. So I'll... Uh, I'll try and bounce it out as best I can, but this is uh, my brand new single, If I Were You. If I was a billionaire like Bill Gates, I'd be flying around in one of my planes, parachute over the ocean, just to show you the splash it made. If I was a Hollywood actor and you were the one I was chasing after, I fast forward to the love scene faster, which that were the case, but it ain't. If I were you, I'd say goodbye to left you. No, he don't know what he's got, so he's got nothing to do. So now he don't even kiss. So easy to see, I'm leaving for me, girl, if I were you, yeah. This house was mine, I'd be cutting your breakfast. Girl, on your birthday, I'd buy you a necklace. Ride you around in my truck instead of that city boy Lexus. It took me to want to cause breakup. Yep. Out there an hour ago. Baby, if 
So when you found out about that song, uh, David, that uh, you know it was being pitched towards you, you didn't know that Hardy and Florida Georgia Line were involved as co-writers. Yeah, no, I uh, have no idea. You know, it just uh, it was just kind of one of those things where, um, you know, as an as an artist, I try and write as many of my songs as I can, but. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things where I heard it and I was like, and I instantly wish I'd written the song for stuff, but uh, then also I was just like, wow, you know, this is just kind of exactly what I've been going for on this EP. And this is the exact kind of song that I've, I've tried to write for so long and, and it just wasn't coming out properly. And uh, so when it came across, it was, it was pretty neat. And then, uh, and then it was actually my manager who, who emailed me. He said, hey, by the way, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, these are the writers of mine. And I was like, Wow, pretty cool, you know, because even even to cut something like that, you know, obviously the writers have to, you know, really give their permission and the go ahead. So for them to do that for me, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Once again, we're joined by uh, David James. And uh, if anybody's watching on Facebook, if you have a question for David, you can throw it up in the comments. Maybe we'll ask those to you a little bit later if there's any uh, any good questions in there, David. And uh, you mentioned you were in Winnipeg. So uh, what, what's the weather been like out there? I mean, we're in Southern Ontario, so I'm sure it's much different than here. Oh, sorry. I'm a little, uh, it's kind of messing up here. Can you repeat that? Sorry. Nope. Oh, I was just gonna say, you mentioned that you're in Winnipeg right now. So uh, what's the weather like out there? Shoot, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> Internet lag here. Where's the technology? My connection is. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. You're breaking up a lot. Yeah, the joys of internet in 2020. Mm hmm. It's everyone watching Netflix all at once. <laughs> we'll blame it on that. Shoot, I, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Um, I don't know, maybe Dave, if you want to ask if uh, you've got a better connection than I do. <laughs> uh, well, we were asking about if the weather in Winnipeg was uh, as hot as it's been here in southwestern Ontario. I think we're getting a, a bit of a lag and a delay here, joys of 2020 internet. Yeah, the internet is not agreeing with us today, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Some technical issues. Maybe we might have to cut a little shorter tonight. Yeah, we might have to. It looks like ah, David actually has just uh, been disconnected. I was just curious. I want to know what the weather was like because I mean, here in Chatham Kent, right? It feels it's twenty six. Feels like thirty two. So it's a little. Well, I mean, he was talking about moving down to Nashville, right? So you better be ready for some heat because they certainly get that <laughs> down uh, in Nashville and a lot of humidity down that way too. Uh, so I don't know, maybe we should cut a little bit short tonight because I know Dave was having some uh, computer issues and, and some, uh, sounds like some internet issues too. So, uh, you know, we apologize, but, uh, welcome to the joys of trying to do live events on the internet in three different locations, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe we have them back. Hey, David, can you hear us? I can, yeah, it's a little delayed, but I think I, I think I figured it out. Sorry about that. That's okay. We were just saying that's the joys of 2020 trying to do live events from three different locations, right? So we're doing the best that we can. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just what 2020 brings, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. So what I was trying to ask you before was uh, what, what the weather is like out in Winnipeg, because I'm sure, is it different than, how different it is than Southern Ontario here? Sorry? What's the weather like out in Winnipeg? Oh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's, it's, it's been really hot the last couple of the, uh, we had the golf courses earlier, tried to get out to the golf course as I could, you know, probably about 10 or 12 times, uh, or something. I'm a little bit obsessed or maybe I'm just bored out of my, my mind. So, uh, it's been pretty good. You know, it's, our summers are nice here. Our winters suck and Southern Ontario, you know, gets really hot and it's beautiful. And, and uh, my cousins and my aunt and uncle, um, you know, actually, uh, place in St. Catherine, Niagara Lake. So I used to spend all my in uh, Southern Ontario and, and, uh, I just, uh, I love, I just fell in love with the weather so much, you know, it's a little better than Winnipeg, but it's been not too bad. It's been, it's been pretty warm here, you know, maybe around 20 degrees. Well, Cheryl, I know we've got a question from James. So before we lose the internet again, maybe we should uh, put up James' uh, question for David. Yeah, James would like to know, past or present, whom would you like to do a duet with, male or female? Not sure if you can see it on the bottom there. Oh, well, there he goes again. <laughs> you jinxed it, Dave. <laughs> You said to ask before the internet went out. And sure enough, there we go. I don't I, know. Maybe, maybe we should just call it a night. I think the internet doesn't want to agree with us tonight. No, it's it doesn't like us today. I mean, I know we had a little bit of issues last week with Dan Davidson, right? He couldn't hear you for a little bit or see you. Mm -hmm. And now David's, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But. Let's make something up. Who would, who would he have said? Male? I'm going to go with Tim Hicks. Mm. And... Female, I'm going to go Shania Twain, just to take Ooh. it a bit, uh, a bit more classic. Yeah. I'd say Carrie Underwood. I think that'd be a great duet. Oh, you think American, sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are, are you just thinking female? Well, Jess Moskaluk would be awesome, too. Yeah, I think either one would be fantastic. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, everybody. And uh, yeah, James said just just uh, it's not in the cards tonight. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem that way. So uh, we'll give her a shot uh, next week as we've got uh, another guest lined up. And uh, thank you to those that uh, joined us tonight and have a great night. Bye, everybody. Bye.